Hello and welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming, where we are unboxing the Terminator Chaplain Tarantus. This is the special edition, limited edition, for like a week for Warhammer Day, which was a couple of days ago now. Finally getting around to cracking this open. But first of all, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Plenty of build videos and news videos coming out again soon. But if you're old, you may notice something. Let's just take a moment. I was going to say there's a bit of silence, but something just fell over in the background. <laughs> we've got a blow up mattress that's just slowly decompressing. Um, yeah, we've moved into the new studio. There's no trains. There's no people walking by the window. No stomping up and down. No people swearing and carrying on. No police raids anymore. <laughs> yes, I used to live next door somewhere where there was, there was a fairly big police raid recently. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It was very nice. Anyway, we're in the new studio. It's quiet. There's no, there's no train sounds. It's, oh, I'm pretty excited. So let's get into this video. So Tarantus, um, this is an easy to build kit. Push fit, no glue required. Normally I would use glue on these, but I'm not going to use glue tonight. Don't want to get the fumes up in my face. Um, so it's a pretty funky looking model. We get a good shot of it there. Lots of detail, lots of skulls. It is a space marine chaplain. So, you know, there's got to be skulls. So let's crack this open. I haven't actually opened this yet. This will be the first time I'm opening it, if I can get it. And we have a model and instruction booklet. We'll come back to the model in just a second. Um, we'll just have a quick look through the book. So pretty straightforward instructions. You put the body together, put the rest of the body together, then the arms and things like that, and it goes together nicely, all push fit, and then the rules on there. Um, no paint guide, which I'm kind of sad about. I do like when they have the paint guides, even if it's just on the back of the box. Just like a little call out there for the different paints. I think that's really cool, but yeah, that is what it is. So, no more mucking around. Let's get stuck into it. So I'm happy to be back. Happy to be back. I have some new clippers that I've picked up along the way. So let's check this out first. So. If you are new to the channel, like I said, hello, welcome, subscribe. Lots of these videos coming out. Um, but this is sort of like a build along. So if you do have this model, you can build along with me. Um, I try to keep this as pretty unedited as possible. So you get an experience. Like if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. Um, it's just so you don't make a mistake as well. So like I'll put a wrong arm on. Don't do what I do. Just put the right arm on. Just so usually I'll make a mistake here and there, but it will give you an idea of what to avoid and what things to look out for. So let's get cracking. So the first thing we need to do is parts four and five. So there are part numbers on here. It is a little bit hard to see. This is like the round sprue that they usually do for the limited edition stuff. So we need four and five. So, oh, these, it's sort of, it seems um, different plastic. You do notice sometimes some plastic is a little bit, uh, not bendier, but softer. This seems to be a lot harder. So I don't know. It did say on the box here that it is made in the UK, it just says there. So it is made at their location in Nottingham. So yeah, that should be fine. It'll be okay. And then five, which is the back part of the body. So normally it doesn't clip like this. So this, I don't think this is brittle, but it does feel a bit, a little bit brittle. Um, so what you should do, you should trim down all the bits. So if you look on there, get that nice and close without too much shadow, if you can see, um, there is a little bit of sprue there. I'm not going to take that off. Um, I do, I recommend you take that off, clean your models. Um, but for these build guides, I generally don't do that. So push it in straight away and that's it. So I can actually, you think, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah, man, that's pretty straightforward. No, no, I'm, I'm a bit of a klutz. So it doesn't quite go in. And I'm not looking too close at the model either. Because I'm a bit far away. I usually be right up in space. But for the videos, I like do that. So that goes in like that. I mean, the tip is when you are building these models, trim the pegs and put a little bit of glue on there. It does not hurt to do that. In fact, when I finish building this, I might pull it apart and actually glue it together properly. But for this, for the purposes here, 
I'm just gonna do that. So I'm just pushing it in. I mean, I can feel there's a little bit of give. I don't know if you can see there, there is a little bit of a gap there, but it'll all slide in together. Next up, we have the back of the body and then the front and that all locks in like that. So that's what we need to get next. So part three, which is the big boy here. Oops, let's make sure that is correct. I can't see a part number on there. Oh yeah, there it is, right up in the corner there. So I hope the lighting isn't too bad at the moment. I'm, this is the first video I'm recording in here, so still getting the lighting all set up. It'll take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. Yeah, there is a fair bit of shadow, so I need to sort that out, but that's fine. It is what it is. It is what it is. Now, part two, which is the front part of the Terminator armor with the big flowy bits, which I do like. They seem a bit strange, but I like them. And then the head, which is obviously part one. Pretty straightforward, the head. Okay. Okay, dork. So we do have the round hole here right in the middle there and get into focus right there and everything slides into that Oops, sorry not the camera so you can see this has a peg here this goes on like that so I mean personally I just want to glue that in there's just in that round section there that's asking for glue but I'm not gonna do it I'm holding off and then we can put the back on and that will slide in to the peg hole there and that will lock in, if I can get it. Yeah, it locks in. I mean, yes, I I definitely want to glue this. And then, but I'm not going to. And then the head slides in. So there is a little uh, groove there. And the head is on the bottom that has a bit of the armor. So that should just go into there and slide right in. Nope, doesn't want to. I'm gonna just pull that out. Why? Why are you being frustrated? Why? 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 Alright, let's get some tools in there. See if we can pull this head out without um, destroying it. Because it is being a little bit fiddly. So I'm just slowly pulling it out. Oh, almost lost him. So, that quite wasn't going in very well. So... Let me, yeah, that's real strange. Okay, what I'm gonna do. Okay, it just requires a bit of force to go in. A little strange, but it does go in. So there we go, got his little face in there. Look at his cute little face. Oh, it's nice, it's very nice. Um, so there we go, we got the front bit done. Now we need the arm and the shoulder pad. So let's do the shoulder pad first. So that's number six. So this will be his right shoulder pad. And that just almost falls off the sprue by itself. And yes, I know I should be cleaning it up, but you know, it is what it is. And push that on, and that goes on. Very, it goes on really nice and snugly. Snugly, snugly. So then we need part seven and eight. Part seven. And that goes onto the arm pretty straightforward, not difficult at all. You'd have a little bit of movement there, so you'd have a little bit of play. Let me know in the comments below if the camera is a little bit too far away. I feel like it is. Still getting my head around the studio again, but we'll get there. And then we have the other bit of the gun. And that just slides on. Just like that. And that just locks into place. And that's pretty much it. That was actually really easy to build. I mean, you know, no pun intended, but yeah, it is easy to build. And then you can see that we have the foot on this side and no foot on that side. And that matches the base, which is a very cool base. Oh, you gotta be careful. This is a little bit flimsy when you're trying to push it in. There we go, that's it. All right, let me move some stuff aside. Let's get the camera down. And let's have a little bit of a look. Oh, baby. There we go. Here we are. Torrentus. 
Terminator Chaplin Extraordinaire. It's actually a very cool model. It goes together so easily. So this video has been like 10 minutes. Seriously, like just goes together really nicely. Yes, you can spend the time and glue it together a bit more. I do recommend that. But, you know, it is what it is. I like it. Lots of detail on there. This is going to take paint very, very nicely. I'm pretty sure I am going to pull this apart again and glue it together. Just, you don't need to do that, but I just like to do it just to be secure. And also when you get in the back of the cape when you're painting and onto the base, there's a lot of detail on the base, so you may want to um, pull it apart when you want to paint it, particularly the cape and the base and get into the back there because you can see that on definitely on this side here. So what do you reckon? Tell me what you think below. I actually like it. I do love the more contemporary um, Terminator design, much more upright, where the other ones were very much, the head was like, oh, like you had the, the spine and then the head was like pushed forward a bit too far. But the new versions, like in the, um, the limited edition blind box ones that you can get with, I think it was second series, which was by Blood Angel Terminators, I think. They're, they're much more upright, uh, much more dynamically posed, because before they were just tanks, basically. And they'll tank everything up. I like it. Let me know what you think below. And as usual, if you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a comment and a like, and share it around, and definitely subscribe. My aim is to get to 1,000 subscribers by Christmas. It's getting dicey now. Um, it's looking like it's actually going to be in January, simply because I haven't posted many videos in the last few weeks. Because, you know, it's been pretty busy. Life's busy. Um, but yeah, if you do like these videos, please do subscribe. Because plenty more coming out. So that's it. We'll put this bad boy away. Oh, it looks kind of menacing when you get the shadows in there. Very cool. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.